Hello, this is Steve Beeson with American Iron Works. Today we're going to be testing our CC 516 cable choker on an inch and a quarter polydyne type hose. We'll be pressuring it up between four to 5,000 PSI. We have compromised this fitting in this area right here to where it should fail between four and 5,000. If you'll notice, we've placed the choker directly behind this nut here. And we've came approximately seven to eight inches up on the hose here. We've marked it with tape to see how far it pulls, if it does pull up this way during the failure. We have an additional 20 feet of inch and a half hose going off through the shop. Let's see how it performs. Hello gentlemen, Steve here again. We just got through testing our CC 516 cable choker on the inch and a quarter polydyne type hose. And one of the things that we look at is the gripping action behind the fitting that performed very well in that area there. We pulled this fitting here uh, down. You can see how it bent our brackets, but that's not an issue. One of the things that I'm really impressed with is how it pulled in, dug in on this hose. We placed it right here in this area here and it pulled up so that we can document this. We placed our we placed it seven inches up originally from the crimped fitting here. So from right here to where we placed it, it was seven inches. And on the back side here, looks like it may have moved four inches before digging in, but the fitting here did not assist it, and that's what's important. A lot of times when we're seeing these failures, we'll have a, the hose will actually hydraulic out of that fitting. And this here tells us that the fitting did not assist the cable choker from digging in. But you can tell it really, it really pulled in nice. Really pulled in nice. And this is our standard CC 516 cable choker testing with nitrogen on the inch and a quarter polydyne type hose at 4500 PSI. Great test.